Jeez. So I'm out exploring this giant cornfield, um, doing a little metal detecting actually, not finding squat, but out in the middle of it, there's this creepy abandoned house. And since I have my flashlight, because I'm always looking for caves, I thought we might explore it. What do you think? Now, the one thing that worries me is some of this graffiti is pretty scary. Look at that. Uh, I don't think anybody lives here anymore. But it doesn't mean there's not a body or two in here. Oh man, I tell you, we should come out here at night. That's creepy. That's not so much. <laughs> Look at that. It's Pennywise. Oh. I don't know if that's, I guess that's a clown, I don't know. Let's go, oh, look at that. This place has been destroyed. I was in a cave yesterday and found a, uh, a clown motif ashtray, ceramic ashtray, it had a clown. <laughs> it was really spooky. And now we have another one. What do you say? Let's go inside, check it out. Obviously it's been heavily vandalized. That's a shame. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I like that. I guess we gotta be careful because I think there is a basement here and we don't want to fall through the floor. Um, no, maybe not. Wow, it's a truck. Wow, look at that. This is pretty cool, actually. This would be neat. I uh, kind of wish I found this in the middle of the night. This would be awesome. It must have been on acid or shrooms. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Gosh. You had a lesson, kids, I reckon, by the graffiti, I'd say. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a downstairs, so we need to be careful. Um, we don't want to fall through the floor, so I have to pay more attention. Don't want to end up like that. I'm not thinking this house is terribly old. 1920s, maybe. Ah, bird. <laughs> bird just threw, flew by. Actually, actually kind of scared me a little bit. Closet. That's the baby closet. I keep the babies, little kidnapped babies. All right, what do you say? Up the steps. They're not been booby trapped. Chase. A little tiny attic. Hopefully nobody up there looking at us. Well, that was roofed over. This must be an addition. I thought that was somebody's hair. Okay. Ah. <laughs> There's a bird nest. Bird just flew out and just about hit me. Oh, look at there. Not sure what kind of eggs those are. I think at one time I could have told you. Some type of little sparrow, but better hope no snakes come in here. Well, oh, that's nice. A horsey. Someone has some issues for sure. really creepy for some reason absolutely creepy I love it absolutely love it oh, six 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 <laughs> I, tell I tell you I'm halfway tempted to ask the farmer who I, I've known for a long time if I could come up here and grab a couple of these panels because I think they're they're actually really good a couple of them I like that I really I really, I really like this one though. I don't know what. Something about this one. Somebody blasted it with a shotgun, or well, I guess they probably just hit it with a hammer or something. But I like that. 
Um, I don't think there's an attic, although I did see a buzzard fly out of the house somewhere. So, yeah. If there's an attic, uh, it's a little tiny attic right there. Let me uh, turn some light on for you. Let's see. Tell me what you see. Anything? See any eyeballs looking at us? I'm looking through the back of the camera. I'm not really seeing anything, so. This is a good thing. Did you hear that? Something, something in the walls. Oh my God, look at, look at this insect. Hear that? I think it was a buzzard. Might have been up here. Might have been a buzzard up here or something. I just heard one fly. Oh, I'm looking through the viewfinder. I'm not seeing anything. It's probably a nest up in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, but anyway, look at this thing, man. Nothing creepy or what. I think that's a Helgramite right there. From like a long time ago. <laughs> Last year, maybe. <laughs> this is a really spooky place. All right, let's go ahead and head back down. Like someone tried to burn the place. Look at this. Could have been a reused timber, but definitely had a. Uh, it was on fire at one time. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go out in the basement and check it out. Let's go around the outside though. Okay, what do you say? You ready? <laughs> See what's down here. Man, this is kind of weird, isn't it? As a uh, stone foundation, oh heater. That's so the pipes don't freeze in the winter time. Didn't take me too long to figure that out. Oh, wow. mm, mm, mm. Yeah, not much down here. Um, those bricks aren't very old. Not sure what that is. I don't see any bottles or anything. Some raccoon tracks over there. It's not very old. This could be 1930s or 40s even, actually. That's where they put a pipe through the wall. All right. Um, yeah, we'll look around a little bit. Maybe on the outside in the... Uh, this giant spider or something. Uh, we'll see a date or something in the uh, concrete outside. So I just don't think this is very old. All right. Mason jar lid. Let's go look around the outside. Just a little bit. Oh, there it is. Right there. 1941. Now... This could, be, could have been built in 1941 very easily, or this could have been when they just mortared this, but I suspect that could that could be the date of this house pretty, pretty easy. America was getting ready to go to war, 1941. And we all knew it too. Didn't want to, but we knew we had to. Let's just take a quick spin around the side here. I haven't looked at this yet. Remember I told you I heard the buzzard in the attic there he is right there so he's got a nest in there so he wants to get back there and get on the eggs yeah normally i'm pretty sad to see old houses falling apart like that but i'll be honest with you this wasn't much of a house even when it was new was it <laughs> all right hope you enjoyed that little adventure i know it wasn't much but at least we got to see some <laughs> west virginia graffiti it's not too bad actually
Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it 